ちょっと不思議だと思わないえ、何このヘアスタイル違うよ英語を一生懸命学んでるのにいざとなると言葉が出てこない英会話のフレーズと文法をたくさん学ぶのに外国人に話しかけられたら頭が真っ白になりますそれってなぜでしょうか日本人はなぜ何年かけても英語が話せるようにならないのでしょうか日本人だけではなく頭が悪いからでもありません理由がたった一つです皆さんこんにちは u コネクトのアーサーです今回の動画では日本人が英語話せないたった一つの理由をご紹介します今回は本当ですよ前から U コネクトの動画をご覧になっている方はもしかしたらこの話題見たことある気がするこれ前にやらなかったっけと思ってるかもしれません Why is that? Because actually I have When I first started teaching English many years ago I noticed a problem particularly with Japanese people They would study, study, study learn all these phrases all this grammar all these situations But when it came time to use it when they were trying to talk to a foreigner no words came out They couldn't say Anything. And back then, I thought I knew the reason. So in 2014, I made a video showing the reason why Japanese people can't speak English. It was one reason in、uh, seven parts. You know, when I look back on that video, I'm a little bit embarrassed. But at least I had energy back then. <laughs> But if I made a video back in 2014, Why am I making another one? Because since that time, I've spent years and hundreds of hours researching with hundreds of students. And now, with my YouTube channel over 100,000 subscribers, I realized something. I was wrong! Well, not, not wrong, wrong, maybe half right. The basic thought was right, but I missed something. And this is something that lots of other English teachers and English schools and lessons miss. Too. In fact, I've never seen another English teacher or English lesson really talk about this before. No wonder I missed it all those years ago. And that's why I'm updating with a new video. In this video, I'm going to share with you one, how I discovered the real reason why Japanese people can't speak English. Two, what the actual reason is. Three, How to fix this reason so that anyone can go out and actually speak English with foreigners in the real world. Four, what we're at Uconnect doing to change this problem in English education in Japan. You ready? Let's get started! So, how did I discover the real reason? Well, in the last video, I said the reason why Japanese people can't speak English is because they don't learn communication. They learn a lot of words, phrases, and grammar, but they don't connect it to real life situations or real communication with other people. English isn't about just saying words, phrases, and grammar correctly, it's about sharing images, feelings, information, what I call messages, with others. Other people. If you want to play tennis, you'd learn the rules for tennis, not the rules for basketball. It's the same thing. If we want to communicate in English, we have to learn communication, not just random words, phrases, and grammar. Back then and even today, most English lessons don't teach English based on communication. So in 2014, I thought the answer is to learn communication. Everyone's problems will be solved if they just learn communication instead. I made a video, told that fact confidently, and started teaching people communication in many different situations. And in my private lessons and on YouTube, lots of people left great feedback on how easy it was to understand, how interesting it was, and And how useful the lesson was. So, hundreds of people were learning real English communication with me at Uconnect. And you know what happened? Nothing changed. What? Huh? Why? When a foreigner talked to them suddenly, their minds went blank. They forgot what to say. The problem was still there. But everyone was learning the right things. Why was this problem still happening? What is the real key to being able to speak English? I wanted to know the answer, so I threw away everything I thought about teaching English and I started from the beginning. I looked at how I learned how to speak Japanese and I thought about Japanese people who could speak English really well. Why was it that we could speak? But so many other people could not speak even though they studied for years. It's because we had a sense for speaking. 
I had a sense for speaking in Japanese and they had a sense for speaking in English いざという時も英語が話せる日本人の方は感覚で話していたんです意識せずなんとなく英語をとっさに言えましたそこで気づきました外国人と英語を実際に話せる鍵はこの感覚を身につけることです In order to speak English We need to develop this English sense. No one was focusing on developing this English sense. They were learning a lot of information. でもどれだけフレーズを覚えたとしても、どれだけ文法を覚えたとしても、どれだけ使い分けを覚えたとしても、この感覚がないと、いざという時は、全く話せないままになります。The reason why Japanese people can't speak English is because they learn a lot of information, but they never develop this sense. And so if you want to speak English, but you can't talk with foreigners yet, the most important thing to focus on is to build this sense. 外国人と話したくても話せない場合は、第一の課題はこの感覚を身につけることです。So yeah, about that.、Um... How do you do that? 具体的にどうしたらこの感覚を身につけられるんでしょうか For lots of people, there's not a clear system. Most people just say, アウトプットアウトプットだ。話すことでしょ外国人は話さなきゃな。But there are still lots of cases where people are always doing output, but when it comes to talking with foreigners, they still can't speak. I wanted to know if there was a process to develop this sense, if there were a set of steps that if anybody did that, Anybody could get that sense. So I started researching a lot, trying with lots of students. This English sense that we're talking about is actually quite a common thing called muscle memory. Eh, muscle memory te nani? 違う。脳の筋トレではないです。マッスルメモリーとは、意識せず何かを感覚でできる才能です。And we use muscle memory in every aspect of our life. When we walk, we're using muscle memory. When we're riding a bike, we're using muscle memory. When we're writing letters or a note, we're using muscle memory. If someone asks, and you can just respond with, ah, なんとなく、それがマッスルメモリーです。And when I realized this, the key to developing this English sense was quite simple. We use muscle memory in many parts of our life, but the way to build muscle memory is always the same. The way we learned how to walk, the way we learned how to ride a bike, the way we learned how to write letters. How did you learn how to do those things? Well, quite simple. You just did it! 繰り返して実際にやってみたんです。And it's the same thing with English. If we want to develop that English sense and actually talk with foreigners in the real world, we have to just do it. We have to go out and talk to foreigners in the real world. え、朝、ちょっと待って。いきなり外に出て外国人に話しかけるってことそれちょっとむずくない英語話せないのに、それどうやってできんの無理じゃない ?This is a very common response, and you know, it makes sense. Talking with foreigners can seem difficult, and most lessons see this as the final goal of learning English, where you do that after you've learned a lot of stuff. But that's one of the reasons why most English methods It's just don't work because the students never go out and actually talk to people and build that English sense so that they can do that. In one on one lessons, you're meeting face to face with a foreigner and using English to communicate. It's the same thing as talking to someone outside, right? This is a common response, and I can understand why lots of people would think this way. I mean, in one on one lessons, you're meeting with a native speaker or a foreigner, and you're speaking to them in English, communicating with them. And honestly, it's a lot less scary than going out and trying to talk to someone. But if we look into our hearts, we know the truth. There are so many people who take one on one lessons for years with native speakers. Always learning new information, but when they go out into the real world, they still can't talk. Why is that? It's because one on one lessons are like Hojorin on a bicycle. A lot of people think that Hojorin is good for learning how to ride a bike, but to be honest, they actually don't have much effect. The moment you take off the Hojorin, what happens? You fall down again because you haven't developed the muscle memory to stay up and keep on going. And it's the same thing with one on one lessons. You may be speaking, you may be having conversations, but having a conversation in a classroom with a teacher is very different from having a conversation in the real world. And no matter how long you take one on one lessons, 
There's just some muscle memory you need to learn for the real world that you can't learn in one-on-one -on -one lessons. The only way to develop the real sense is to go out and talk to people. But how exactly do you do that? In order to speak English, you need to talk to foreigners. But in order to talk to foreigners, you need to know English already? I knew what my students needed to do in order to speak in English, but there was this gap. How do they overcome this gap? The key is in how you learn to ride a bike. When you first started riding a bike, you didn't ride for 10 kilometers, right? You just went one step. Then you went two steps, and then three steps, and then four steps, and then five steps, and then you started to ride for a long time. We can start with something we can already do and slowly challenge ourselves little by little, developing this sense, developing our communication sense. And the more steps we take, the more we try little by little, we can develop this communication sense. We can develop muscle memory. The problem was no one was teaching these steps. Through Uconnect, I want to help Japanese people go through these steps and overcome this gap. I love Japan and I've decided to call Japan my home. And I hope through this experience, more Japanese people will connect with foreigners. And because of that, more foreigners will know the wonderful things about Japan. To do that, we've developed a unique kind of strange English method to help people build this sense, and we're sharing it with as many people as possible. And also, we're creating a movement of people using this method to connect with foreigners and the world. Starting in Tokyo, and then in 2019 Kansai, and then the rest of Japan, and then countries all over the world, we're building communities, hosting local events, creating online content, to help people use this method, to make this dream a reality. And if you're still watching this video, I'd love for you to be a part of this. We have a regular Meirumaga, or Meirusaku, where you can learn English communication, but if you're interested in our movement, interested in this method, I recommend you join our movement. You can learn our method to build this basic sense and then create an everyday life where you're talking with foreigners. And if you already speak English, that's great too. You can join our online and offline community and you can share your story and encourage other people in our movement. You'll also get special VIP access to content that I don't share in other places and also special access to events. And if not, that's okay please continue watching our YouTube videos and you can also enjoy lots of our English communication content on our website. A lot has changed since I started Uconnect, but our dream has never changed. As always, enjoy your English adventures. Bye-bye. おかしいじゃん。この Dancing hair, dancing hair, dancing. Okay, anyways.